so hi everyone. Uh, we're gonna speak about the uh, created list, uh, which we which is what we can call a crypto primitive. Um, so uh, it's an element which is used in a lot of different systems, but which may have similar characteristics. So let's look at this example. Uh, here we have a list on Listia of item for sale. Uh, we have um, an on bag list. And we see that some people listed hang bags, obviously, but some people listed a beret and someone uh, listed a sweet cake. <coughs> so if we want uh, to have a decentralized system to succeed, we must be sure that from uh, the user perspective, they are only shown relevant item. So we don't want Barrett, we don't want a suitcase in the on bag uh, list. Our listing problems are uh, quite uh, old, uh, and um, the mail uh, with spam and legitimate mail, or to classify spam, or to classify legitimate mail, or to classify spam addresses, or to classify legit addresses, is uh, quite one of the old problems of the internet, and actually proof of work was even invented uh, to, to fight uh, spamming. Uh, here we have uh, forums. So a forum is basically a list of uh, posts which are not violating the term and condition of the forum. Uh, and uh, a small uh, story which happened to me uh, a few months ago is um, that I got a lot of spam token uh, on, my, uh, on my parity, on, on, parity, on addresses. Um, so someone just register a fake token, which is returning fake value for every address, saying that everyone has a lot of PNS tokens. And um, everyone uh, had to see uh, this token, which was obviously uh, fake and even offensive. Um, so <coughs> we need a way to only display relevant information to user. Here it was fine, only two uh, spam tokens. But if we don't uh, act in 10 years, we'll get way more spam tokens than relevant ones. And it will be impossible um, for user to know what is relevant or not. So last example is uh, I ask uh, a list of hotels near the conference center, and I will obviously only want the relevant one. And spammer, they may want to list stuff which are not hotels, just for me to drag my intention, just to get free advertisement. Uh, so that's also an example of curated list. So we saw that a lot of problem uh, in internet, in application, and in future decentralized application uh, are listing problems. Um, <coughs> Okay, they cut my title, but that's fine. <coughs> so there have been a lot of, um, of proposals for making created lists, but most of them, what they have in common is that you need a deposit to apply. If you ask to list an irrelevant item, you lose your deposit. Some particular token is listing power. The token holder of those token can decide if your item uh, should go in the list or not. Um, the shelling point principle, um, if you vote the same way as the other token holder, you tend to gain token, and if you don't, you don't gain or even you lose uh, some stuff. And the skill in the game, the value of the token you use to uh, accept or reject item should be uh, linked to the um, proper functioning of the list. So if you have token which are linked to a list which is not working, which is less in spam, uh, which is not letting a good item get in, uh, those tokens should go to zero. If you have a list with token, uh, oh, if you have a list working, the token should have value and even more value uh, if the list is working better. Uh, okay, there is no way. Okay. I'm gonna like, put that this way because I'm cutting on my, uh, on my slide. Okay. okay, but we're gonna put them in this way. <coughs> Um, so one example of, um, of list creation is, uh, or the simplest one, is when it's governance-based. Here we have Edfinex, which uh, lists a uh, token in a decentralized exchange. So basically, a user which has an um, Edfinex token can vote on token to list. And this is a simple example of a of created list. There is no incentive mechanism. When you vote, you just vote because that's what you believe. Uh, there is no way to prevent uh, buying votes. If you, if you want to buy votes to list your token, you can perfectly do so. Um, so that may seem quite, uh, quite simple and not working well, but actually, uh, to avoid a spam listing, it works quite well, because if you want to list your spam token, you're going to manage to do it, but you're going to have to pay a lot to bribe everyone to vote for you. 
So even simple list, um, uh, even simple list creation system of the application. So now let's go to dispatch resolution based um, created list. So here we have a list of gathering tool equipment. We have Alice, which wants to list a shovel to sell in the list. So she put a deposit. Um, a few hours after, no one has complained. So the item is listed and she gets the deposit back. But now uh, she wants to try to list a flamethrower. We have Bob, which may either be browsing the platform or even actively looking at all the new listing, which notice that there is a flamethrower being listed. And he puts a deposit to challenge this listing. He goes to dispute resolution. Alice argues that uh, we can use a flamethrower to remove bad plants. Uh, Bob argues that it's obviously a weapon and not a gardening tool equipment. The arbitration mechanism decides that Bob is right, so Bob gets the deposit of uh, Alice back and the arbitration fee back. So this arbitrator uh, can be a uh, central arbitrator. That's what we, we saw in a centralized platform. You have a moderator who decide which content should be there and which content should not be there. Um, Sometimes it leads to dispute if you, you see Facebook uh, uh, censoring uh, some uh, old uh, old painting because uh, they show people uh, in quite revealing apparel, but they are supposed to be old painting and fine. Um, <clears throat> we can have a multisig, we can have a few people which decide, but we can also have DAO, uh, and that's the whole interest uh, of uh, decentralized uh, application uh, applied to, to list. So we can have general purpose uh, dispute resolution system, like Kleros, what I'm working on, we can have specific uh, dispute resolution system. So one of the, f I think the first uh, decentralized created list is the ad chain created list, uh, where they create uh, domain name which are not malicious uh, in uh, the ad system. So we're gonna see the example of a, of a list uh, of dispute resolution in Claros, but that's just an example. And we have a lot of competing approach we're gonna talk just after. So here you have this dispute between Alice and Bob. So a few tokens are drawn. Uh, obviously, we can't uh, draw a uh, human because we don't have an identity uh, on chain. Uh, the best we can do is we can draw a token. So we have almost everyone drawn except B, and we have E, which is drawn twice uh, because he has a lot of token, and there are not a lot of token holder. If you have way more token holder, it's quite unlikely to be drawn twice. Uh, and they vote. Most of them uh, vote in favor uh, of, uh, of Bob. Uh, but somewhat in favor of Alice. So from the deposit of Alice of ETH, um, they are given an arbitration fee to all the jurors. And a few jurors, uh, Ignacio and Julio, which voted for Alice, will lose a few tokens uh, to the juror which voted for Bob. So you are penalized if you don't vote in the consensus, and you win something if you vote in the consensus. So if you think that most of the other token holders are honest, uh, you should vote honestly. <clears throat> there is obviously some uh, more complex defense against bribing, for example. What happens if uh, uh, Alice pay all the jurors to vote for her? Uh, so there is, uh, we can get more jurors if they put more deposit. And there is uh, ultimately um, the possibility of forking if most of the token holders are malicious. Um, people can just say, OK, uh, no, this, this list is malicious, so we fork the list. We fork the token, and we make a new list. And we expect that most of the user will migrate uh, to the new list, which is a non malicious. And doing so uh, will cost a lot to the attacker because now he will end up with tokens which are used by almost no one. Uh, so we've seen one example uh, of a, a little creation. Um, what we can have is a deposit which can either be reimbursed uh, automatically when the item is accepted or uh, locked uh, for all the time the item is in the list. The advantage of reimbursing the deposit is uh, that it gives you a way better user experience and you don't have to lock up capital. Uh, the advantage of uh, locking the deposit uh, forever is <coughs> that if the item change in nature, people still have incentive to challenge it even after it has been accepted. Um, we have um, the minimum deposit to submit versus the minimum deposit to view. So in some lists, you need to, su to submit uh, and put the deposit of one ETH all the time. In some other kind of list, you can put whatever deposit you want, but as a user, you put a minimum deposit for the item to be shown to you. Uh, so like for the hotel, I would say, okay, I want to be shown hotel which put at least uh, five ETH of deposit, 
so if someone put a 0 0.0001 ETH deposit, it won't be shown to me uh, because it probably means that um, the hotel uh, manager is not uh, confident that he's effectively listing your hotel because you only want to risk 0 0.0001 ETH. Uh, so that can be governance based or chosen by user. Uh, for deposit, uh, we can use native token, uh, like ETH if you're on Ethereum, uh, or token specific, um, of token created list specific uh, token. So the advantage of native token is it's a better user experiment, experience. You don't need to, uh, to, make, uh, to go to an exchange to get the token of the list you want to list on. Um, the advantage of using um, a token specific is that it gives more skill in the game to token holders because if their list is good, people are gonna want to have tokens to apply to this list. So it will um, drive the demand for the token. Uh, so drive the price for the token if the list is good. So that's even more incentive for uh, the list creator to make a good list. Um, everyone can stake or vote, or we only draw a few of them. Uh, so if everyone can stake or vote, that's obviously uh, easier uh, to implement and also to analyze. But the problem is that it does not scale really well. If you have 1,000 disputes per day with 1,000 token holder, that's 1 million, one million vote which should be done each day. Uh, you will clearly see that it's not scalable. Um, system which ask everyone to vote on everything, they generally um, split when they start to become uh, too big into multiple uh, sublists. Uh, or otherwise you can draw them in order not to bother everyone for every dispute. The system of punishment and reward. Um, so you lose or you win token depending on your vote. You have system which only reward you when you make a coherent vote. So that may please uh, the token holder uh, more, but the problem of that is that you can just vote randomly if you don't know. You can even put a, a bot which votes randomly when you are not there to vote because you can only win stuff. Uh, so that's one problem if you are reward only. And in some system, the one we saw with uh, Adfinex, it's no consequences. So it's open to buying votes, but in a really simple system where you just want to avoid spam, uh, it's, uh, it's sufficient. Uh, reward, they can be symmetric. What you can lose uh, and win by accepting or rejecting is the same. Or sometimes you get higher reward for rejection, which, give, which we could argue will bias toward rejecting item. But on the other hand, if the item is a really good one, you, want, you still want to accept it uh, because it makes your list better, so it makes your token more valuable. Uh, public votes, sometimes you can see what other people vote, so you can do some kind of uh, copy voting. Uh, I don't vote. Um, in this case, you may still be able to see what other people vote if they reveal it to you. And most uh, advanced proposal will use item vote plus anti pre elevation game which is basically penalizing you if you reveal your vote to other people. Um, we have a few uh, systems to do so, but most of them, there is still way to game them. They tend to be more complex, so you, can, you can't just reveal your vote to your neighbor, but you have way to make contract and commitment to give um, huge um, um, certainty from other uh, observers that you're gonna vote in a certain manner. So it's still an active uh, research topic to make a, um, um, advanced anti prohibition games. So on token creation, you have mostly two opposing views. Uh, one is uh, the one of, uh, of Mike's uh, consensus. We believe there is a right way to do token created registries, and the other is there are numerous approach, but not all of them work all of the time, or even some of the time. So even some of the time is funny, it's mostly because we are in new space, so most of the stuff we try, it's just gonna fail, but that's fine. Uh, that's uh, how we, we get more insight on the problem. Um, so yeah, spoiler, I'm mostly in the second approach. I think um, depending on the use case, uh, we may have a specific way to make token uh, created registry. Like for example, the Edfinex stuff, it works perfectly fine. Uh, but if having a malicious token will destroy the system, uh, you, you could not just have the Edfinex, uh, you, could not you could not just have the Edfinex voting system because someone could buy the vote and make a malicious token which would poison all the registry. So I think it's most, it mostly depends on the application. Um, let's go back to the um, hotel near the conference. Now if we ask good hotel near the conference, yeah, there is way less. Um, <coughs> so it's not sufficient to have just a list. Uh, we can have list uh, with um, uh, different um, strains, 
in the item. Uh, so here it's a list of uh, rock bands. Uh, the first one are just basic rock bands. You may not know them because I just made them up. Um, <laughs> the other are real rock bands. And I think uh, Nirvana is underrated. So I propose to promote Nirvana to uh, the legendary rock band. And if it's accepted, it's modified uh, the list this way. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, a competing approach is uh, to grade um, the item. So again, I think Nirvana is underrated. So I want to add nine points to Nirvana. If it's accepted, uh, it gets more points and get upper in the list. Uh, ordered list, in this case, it's not, a it's not a total order. It does not mean that uh, Marley is better than My Little Phoenix. It's a playlist. So which song are I gonna play after, each, after the order? So in this case, I think the playlist will be way better if we start with Alice and June and put Marley between L'Amour à la Française and Elf. So I want to switch. And if the switch is accepted, I get this list. Uh, we can also do list of list. And that's actually a way uh, to scale list uh, where we ask everyone to vote on everything. Uh, so we can have a list, uh, a list of rock, but we don't directly list rock uh, bands, but we list subgenre of rock. So we have from the rock, we get a list of hard rock. We get also a list of progressive rock. Um, the um, creation mechanism in the sublist does not even need to be the same one from the main list. So that's how we, we can scale uh, by uh, adding people in the rock list, only creating list of list. And in the list, in the hard rock list, uh, we have people which are specifically uh, creating the hard rock list but don't bother in the progressive rock and in the rock. So in this case, what we want is to add uh, a list. So we had the heavy metal list, and now uh, we also see the heavy, the heavy metal list. Um, we can list item, or we can also list a set of item, uh, that combinatorial list. So in this case, we want to list a good food combination. So here, um, the um, list of curator thinks that salmon goes well with cardamom, red cabbage goes well with banana. Um, we can have arbitrary number of items, three, five, ten, and we can also have more complex than relationship because here it's just a symmetric correlation, which is um, have a good taste with, but we could have more complex kind of interaction, like if we have A and B, it implies C. That's also uh, a way to make a combinatorial list. Uh, so for now, as I said, everything is quite experimental. Uh, if we want to uh, verify that lists are working well, we need to do experiment. Uh, so next experiment will be uh, to make a list, a created list of, uh, of Doge, uh, because it's easy to see if it's working or not. Um, and uh, this way, we're going to be able to test uh, incentive uh, to see if we effectively end up with a list of Doge, or if we have cats or other kind of animal or item which manage to sneak in uh, into the list and the curation does not work. Uh, so thanks a lot for listening, and we're going to go to uh, questions. I, I can just use my voice, that's fine. Uh, you were talking about uh, a native token versus a, um, uh, well, TCR native token uh, for the operation of a curation market. Yeah. list will obviously attract participants, which is what presumably drives up the value of the token, thereby increasing the incentive for an appropriate curation. So how is it that you have this incentive alignment by using, say, Ethereum? Oh, okay. So the, uh, um, using Ethereum as a list creation token will not work uh, well, uh, mostly because if you want to attack the list, you need to do a 51% attack on the token which are used for list curation. Uh, so if you have like 1,000 ETH doing list creation, I can just bring 1,000 ETH uh, from outside of uh, this, this list ecosystem to be able to 15% attack the list. And even after, uh, that means that, uh, okay, I destroy the list, but no, I still have ETH that I can use for other purposes. So I don't get penalized by destroying the list. Uh, when I spoke to using native token, I spoke of using native token uh, for deposits, but never using native token uh, for list creation. Uh, 
Uh, if you use native token for a deposit, as uh, in the incentive for this creation is arbitration fee uh, of, of dispute uh, about this list. Um, but in this case, you don't have the incentive of driving the demand of the token for the purpose of uh, making deposit, but you get it uh, of driving the demand of token for the purpose of creating the list and getting arbitration fees. Okay, got it, thank you. Uh, I have a short one. In the end, you showed several types of lists, uh, but I didn't understood if uh, your solution allows me to use any, kind, any of these kinds of lists or just uh, the first one? Like, uh, oh, uh, everything allows uh, every kind of list? Uh, because here we have different we have different operations which are added. So instead of putting uh, here a deposit to uh, to add a, a shovel, I use a deposit to add a whole new list into the rock subgenre. Or in this case, I use a deposit to uh, switch uh, between uh, two uh, two item in uh, in the playlist. So it's basically just an action. Do people think that this action is a legit action or not? Yes. With legit can be sometimes uh, 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 objective or sometimes it can be completely subjective. Here it's completely subjective. Hi. <coughs> Thank you for your talk. Um, so this list are on uh, Ethereum and all the data are on Ethereum, right? And, oh, uh, so you only put the hash of items. Okay. Oh, well, here it's like short item, but obviously like for images, I'm not gonna put uh, <laughs> dodge images on Instagram, that would be really ah, okay. inefficient. I was uh, wondering uh, how scalable it yeah, is. Yeah, so in this case, you put the hash of the image, uh, you can uh, like put the IPFS hash, for example, you just need to, a way to identify the image uniquely, uh, and you only have the hash on chain and all the data is on some centralized server or decentralized system like IPFS. Okay, but then, Ash, uh, Ash is better than an image, but then uh, we still have uh, maybe a scal scalability issue. Oh yeah, so we still have the general uh, scalability issues, um, which normally should be uh, solved by second layer or stuff like uh, Plasma, general like style channels. Um, even with listing, you could uh, even when you make a list, you could just have an off-chain transaction in a general style channel, so that it's only need to go uh, to the main chain if you effectively have a dispute. But that's really not some specific problem to list. That's problem which are specific to the central applications. Final question? One? No? So let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.